What's up everybody, welcome back. So I bought a new lens for my camera, right? I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit higher in lens, a little bit better, take better photos, take better videos for you guys. Um, so I went with this Canon 17 to 55 millimeter. And so far it's been really nice. It takes good photos, takes great videos. The autofocus motor on it is really fast, sharp, but there's one downside and the downside is dust. So I've only had this lens for a couple weeks and there's already a little bit of dust getting built up on this front element and it drives me crazy, especially when I'm taking photos because I don't want to have little dust specks showing up and, and honestly, the little dust specks probably are not going to show up in a photo, but it would piss me off if they did. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get these dust specks out and I'm going to show you guys how to take this front element off and clean your lens. So you can see inside of here, there's already little bits of dust. So the dust inside the lens is actually sawdust and the reason that there's sawdust in there is because in the video before this, I made a bed platform for my Tacoma. And so I was making a few cuts on some wood to make them fit in the back of my truck and sawdust goes everywhere. So the reason this lens is so prone to getting dust is because of the way that it zooms. Because this one actually moves in and out, there has to be some disbursement of air. So as you zoom in and out, the air is actually dispersed around this ring right here. And so I've heard that this dust issue can be helped by getting a lens cover, which is probably what I'm gonna do. But it was too late by the time I realized it and there was already a bunch of sawdust in there, so we're gonna clean it today. So there's a few things I'm gonna to need to take this apart and be able to put it back together successfully. So I'm gonna make sure it's all the way zoomed out and then just for extra precaution, I'm gonna make sure my focus ring is all the way to infinity right there. And then I'm gonna need a piece of tape, which we'll use later, a few small screwdrivers and some camera cleaning. Stuff. This is gonna be the one that I'm gonna need more than anything. And the last thing is a razor blade. You may want to use toothpicks or something a little bit softer, but I'm pretty confident in what I'm doing. So first thing is to take off this ring right here. Best way to do that, if you want to be careful, is get a toothpick or something soft and put it right in this little slot right there. And then you can lift up. This is just glued on by a pretty light glue. So that's what I'm going to use the blade for. Stick that under here and that just lifts up. Make sure you're careful with it so it doesn't bend. And then take this and put it sticky side up over to the side so that it doesn't get dirty. And then there are three screws inside of here. This one, this one, and this one. So this is gonna be where your tape comes into play. You can put it on before you take the screws out or after, I'm gonna put it on before just to make sure that I'm extra careful. And the reason that we're gonna put this on right here is just to make sure that it gets lined up with where it came off. So you wanna use a piece of tape that's long enough to where it's gonna go over the edge. This whole element's gonna pop off and you're gonna to wanna to be able to line it up afterwards when you go to put it back on. I'm gonna use the razor blade one more time to make a small cut in the tape so that it separates easily. Now we're good to take the screws out. And now once your screws are out, the front element should just fall out. So that is the front element right there. Let's see if we can find some of that dust on here. It doesn't show up super well. You can see a few specks just there in the shadows. So what we're gonna do, take this guy, just blow some of that dust out. All right, and that looks pretty good. Most of the dust on here should fall off pretty easily just because it's not rubbed in there or anything. It's just barely set in there, so it should come out pretty easily. Be careful not to touch the inside of the element right here because the last thing you want is to leave some oily fingerprints on the inside of the lens after you put it back on. So there's a little bit of dust in here, so I'm gonna get this little air blaster, get some of that out as well. And that looks pretty good. So once you've cleaned it out, gotten all the dust out of it, we can put this element back in. And this is where the tape's gonna come into play. So we wanna make sure we line this tape up perfectly. Once your lens is realigned with the tape, you can start putting your screws back in. Make sure you put them back into the same hole they came out of. And once the screws are in, you can take your tape off. And I'm gonna use one of these soft cloths that came with the Amazon cleaning kit. Clean the front of the lens off. Give that one last look. That looks pretty good. And what you'll do is you'll take your ring that we've had over here, flip that back around. This doesn't really matter what direction it goes back on. 
it's really kind of just however you want. But we'll just put that back in there. Stick that back down. And there we go. Ready to go back out and shoot. I hope this video helped you out, helped you get a clean lens, get back out shooting, and not have any dust specs in your photos. The cleaning kit and the tool kit I will link in the video description down below just in case you don't have one and you need one to operate on your lens. Uh, thanks a ton for watching guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you around.